my God, this is your boy Akeem, and I'm here with my boy. What is up? What's up, Akeem? What's up, guys? What is your name for the uh, viewers? My name's uh, Kenny, Kenny Apoff, and uh, I decided to take a slightly different deck to regionals. Uh, I got kind of tired of everybody playing Salad Strikers, Danger Thunder Dragons, so I wanted to play something different, see if I could shake the meta up. What you play? Uh, I played Evil Eye Control. Oh shoot, is it busted? It's actually pretty good in, uh, compared to like Salad and Strikers with all this uh, money they throw at it, it's actually way more affordable than that. Oh shoot, let's see this list then, bro. Alright, uh, I'm going to do main deck first. Um, it's actually only 11 monsters, you got your Free Ash in any ready, like you can get them like super cheap out of the freaking uh, structure deck. They're like seven piece, super easy to come by. Probably the most versatile hand trap in the entire game. It needs no introduction. Uh, and the next one, I'll do three Inspector Border free eye control. Super good turn one on a uh, locking Salamangrates out. The next one is the super MVP of the deck, Cerzeal. It's the Candina of the deck. Wow. Searches any evil eye card from the deck to the hand on summon. Turns itself into a Dryden when equipped with a spell. Oh. And then the other two monsters, DD Crow, super good against Strikers and Salad. Actually locked a Salad guy out with it. Going to spells. Also just literally just 11 monsters. Super easy to do. Field spell. <laughs> Is uh, it'll be a uh, Evil Eye Domain. It can search any Evil Eye monster on uh, activation. Plus, during uh, when it battles, when my uh, monster battles, I can actually make my opponent take the damage during the damage calculation once. So it's super good when somebody tries to attack over it. They just take the damage too. Okay. Uh, this is one of the best card. This so, is crazy. Like that's an equip spell. It's an equip spell. Okay. It makes my monster. You cannot target the card effects. You cannot destroy it by battle, and you cannot destroy it with card effects. Like you can pay a thousand life points to take it from the graveyard and set it back on your field. It's it's absolutely crazy. It turns this into a Dryden. You can control everything. It's insane. Mm. Three duality for draw power. Uh, it combos well with Extravagance, which is really the only pricey card in the whole deck. Extravagance lets you out of drawing cards. Duality lets you excavate and search. Gets around it. Super good. Terraforming for your domain. You need it. Awakening, super good. Lets you special an Evil Eye monster from your hand or graveyard. Or if you control the spell, you special from death. Oh, okay. Cost. Confrontation. Uh, it's free MST. If you control the equip, uh, the equip spell, it turns into a Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, Evil Eye Repose, really good. When you activate it, you banish an Evil Eye card from your graveyard, draw a card. And then when you uh, have an Evil Eye monster battle, in the battle phase, with an opponent's monster, you can banish your opponent's monster after damage calculation. And then the one spicy attack was Super Poly. Super Poly is super good against Salamangrates. I took a dude's uh, Messenger Lotto and his Sunlight Wolf and turned it into Violet Chimera and kicked his ass with it. It's pretty nice, pretty sweet. The traps, the Evil Eye Retribution is the counter trap, super good. Uh, when a spell trap card is activated, you can negate it, it's activation and destroy it. If I have Evil Eye of Selene with it, this can't be negated at all. So it's like a spell speed for it's like a spell speed barrier. For, you, you can't even red reboot it. Uh, your, your impermanence, it's one of the money cards, sorry, but it's, it's so good, you, ha you, gotta, you gotta use it, you gotta run it. Spicy tech choice. I actually took out the artifact engine this weekend to run some summon limits, and so there can be only ones. This card flat out locked out a Salamander Great player today. I literally just kept Dryden popping with Cersei and the Quip Spell. It was super good. And the one Mesmerism, I can literally take an opponent's special summon monster if my Evil Eye card has higher attack. Like I took a dude's Lycoris with it and just killed him with it. Playing, uh, playing stri uh, Striker Trickster. Super good. So let's do your uh, side deck because you actually can, you don't need that, right? Extra deck is like. Whatever, dude. <laughs> it chums the waters, let's put it that way. Uh, I didn't know, I figured I'm facing a lot of meta today, and I actually didn't, but I went with three Fusion of Fire, going second against Salamangrae, super good, taking away their resources. Okay. Three evenly, evenly is evenly.
Three Waking the Dragon is super good. You, uh, especially if people stop and get rage it, and you pop it, and you get Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon on them. It's okay. game. Twin Twisters for back row removal because I don't really unfortunately run that much. And uh, I went back and forth between Droll and Lockbird and Gamma Seal, but I went with Gamma Seal because there's a sweet uh, combo where if my opponent's got a badass monster, I Gamma Seal it, and then I Dryden pop it with Seriesio and clear it and just start punching for damage. Oh, that's uh, what's up. So you say, did you use the extra deck at all today? No. So it can be any 15 uh, actually, cards. You, you can literally chum the waters with any super poly fusion of fire targets. I only used it once to go into Violet Chimera on a Solid Mangrave player. That was literally it. And what you finished? Uh, I ended up finishing, uh, I didn't do so well, I did X4-1, but I started off 1-3. and three. My first five rounds were all rogue. Then it went 3-0-1 my next four rounds and just turboed everybody. They did not know what this deck does. Oh, like, so once you get, like, your literal best combo is, you get, there can only be one, the Sir Zeal and the Equip spell, and you just start controlling their board, you pop in all their special summon monsters, this game keeps boosting an attack, you just control them from there and they can't do anything. That's what's up, bro, that's what's up. It's actually really good. Uh, I didn't... This is my first run with it, outside of actually playing it, so I'm going to take some of this and probably tech it up, do a little better, but I think it's a really good option right now. It's cheaper than, like, Solomon Great with all the, with the hype in it, but I'm happy with how I finished. I'm going to do better at the next uh, May, uh, May 25th, be there. But Any shout-outs, bro? Shout-outs to my locals at Goblin Games. Uh, Shout-out to Akeem for actually featuring me on his channel. That's what's up. Uh, like, shout out no, to uh, okay. like, no, shout out to Tulsa for hosting me at the Civic Center. Like, give me a ball. Awesome. Uh, All right, thanks for the deck profile, bro. Yeah. Peace.